What's up? It's Eddie G, and today we talk about Mexican music. I'm back. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel, get notifications so you don't miss a video next time I post. Whenever that is. If you follow me on Instagram, which is right here, hint, hint, I ask, <clears throat> Hi, I'm shooting a video right now. I need your help. Question, you know the difference between banda, norteño, and mariachi? A lot of people said yes, they do know, but they lied because they had to look it up on, on YouTube. I, I, I saw you. So, what's the difference between mariachi music, norteño music, and banda? More than the hats, the wardrobe, and the mustaches, the difference between these styles of music is huge. And lumping them all into regional Mexican music is like lumping rock and roll, blues, and country into one genre called Americana. Whatever that is. These are all different musical genres. They come from different places and their influences range from German polka to string bands and even orchestra. Here's a little about each genre. I'm gonna drop a knowledge bomb on your ass. Knowledge, knowledge bomb. First up, what everybody thinks of when they think of Mexican music. Mariachi. Okay. Mariachi music is said to have originated in the state of Jalisco. Originally, groups were made of simple string, woodwind, and brass instruments formed to play at churches, town fiestas, weddings, serenatas, y toda la cosa. While the instruments have changed slightly over time, they include trumpets, violins, guitars, a harp if you're lucky and you can afford it, a guitarron, which is like a big old bass, boom, 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 and a vihuela, which is a type of modified string guitar found in Spain and Portugal. Some of the most notable artists include Javier Solis, Jose Alfredo Jimenez, Pedro Infante, Antonio Aguilar, Vicente Fernandez, and, and that's just the, the OGs. Next up is Norteño music. Norteño comes from the word Norte, which means North, referring to the northern states of Mexico, such as Tamaulipas, Nuevo León, San Luis Potosí, and the south and Texas to the north because you know Texas was part of Mexico. The main instruments in this music include accordion, bajo sexto, which is like, like a 12 string guitar, and then the tololoche, which is like a, like almost like a double bass. Boom, 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 boom. Instead of like boom, 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 it's like boom, 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 boom. Many believe the accordion was brought over by German immigrants that came to work in Mexico, which actually seems to be pretty accurate since some of the oldest songs are in the style of polka. <laughs> Over the years though, the style has evolved to include everything from corridos which tell a story to cumbias which are very dancing. Some of the most notable originals in this type of music include Alegres de Terán and Cadetes de Linares. These are like old school, old school bands. They were followed by bands like Traileros del Norte, Rieleros del Norte, Tigres del Norte, and of course the king of the accordion, Ramon Ayala, another one of my faves. Okay, the next one is Banda. Banda music originally comes from the state of Sinaloa, but now it's, it's basically all over the place. The main instruments in Banda include trumpets, trombones, tuba, as well as clarinets and drums, and even like uh, congas nowadays. Days. Like, I've seen some bands with congas. I don't know where that came from. Some of the original bands in this genre include Banda El Recodo, which was the first band to actually record with a singer. There's Banda Machos, which actually started a whole new genre called Quebradita. You know, I'm not gonna get, get into all the weeds here, but those are the three most basic, like, Mexican types of music. But that's not to say that's, that's all of them. There are tons of other genres. I mean, like, there's Duranguense. Mexico is huge and it's very diverse and so too the music reflects that diversity. Today new genres continue to be created all the time and they incorporate elements from all over the place, not just Mexico. I don't know, call me crazy, but I have a dream that one day my children will wake up in a country that sees the national music as banda. I have a dream that one day this country will come together and dance La Chona. And that every wedding, whether it's black, white, Asian, or Hispanic, plays El Caballo Dorado like that song that goes. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. 
So let's get a little closer together. What is your favorite type of music? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. That's the only way that I can continue growing. If you want to hear more examples, make sure that you follow Tiburcio's playlist. The, the link is in the description down below. Till next time, my name is Eddie G. Keep it classy, yeah? And what do you think, Lorenzo? Uh, if this doesn't cheer you up, you're a candidate for euthanasia. Yeah! He's right! <laughs>